Yeah. Yeah, sure. First of all, credit Duke. Uh, Coach Cutt and his guys obviously wanted it a lot more than we did. We were out-coached, out-executed, out-played. And uh, that starts and ends with me. We had ample opportunities to, uh, to win one-on-ones, and I, and I think we may have been 0 for offensively. Uh, when I look, you know, I, I stopped charting, but now that I see it, it, it's exactly what I thought it was. We're 1 of 10 on third down. We got them to third down 22 times, and, you know, we, we were successful seven times. Uh, you know, that, that's not good enough. And so, obviously, not playing good team football, you put yourself at a huge disadvantage when your defense is out on the field for 42 minutes. Again, part of that was on our defense, but uh, turnovers, losing one-on-ones offensively. But credit Duke, they did a great job, and uh, we got a lot of work to do, and we'll get uh, – Right on that once we get back to Chicago. So, I want some questions, please. Uh, you guys rotated a lot of guys up front, even early. Is that more trying to keep guys fresh, or is that more performance-based? Which side of the ball? I'm sorry. Uh, offensive line. Oh, it's uh, performance. Yeah, you know, we've got, again, I think I've said it now for about a month or so-ish. Um, when there's a clear guy who's head and shoulders starter, Tommy Doles, Brad North, uh, you know, they play. And, and then when we've got other guys that, um, have not seized the job. We're going to have to rotate them, and um, you know we've just obviously got to keep doing a better job coaching. Coach Mark sacked four times. Yep. Three of those were on third down. Yeah. What did you notice? Looked like he had to hold the ball. It looked like we didn't win our one-on-ones on the outside. Is what it looked like to me because when he came off, he's like, I was just trying to wait for a guy to get open. Um, so again, we'll take a look at it, see how we can do a better job protecting him. Um, but, you know, from, from uh, that standpoint, it's an 11-man operation, right? He's got to get it out of his hands. We've got to protect. And, and then we got to obviously get, uh, get guys open by the scheme. So we'll take a look at it. Do you think that early pressure sort of got them off the scheme a little bit, caused the accuracy issues that we saw in the second half? No, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I, no, I really don't. I, I think uh, you're talking about maybe the throw to the, the interception. That wasn't his fault. Receiver's got to come back down to step, stem. You know, you stem up, you come back. You saw about two or three times they ran curl routes. The guy came right back, and our guys were like a foot away from picking the ball off. Obviously, that's coaching. We got to do a better job of that. You know, um, but I really liked the way Clayton handled it. You know, he didn't lose it. Um, you know, the, the the receiver that didn't execute properly. Uh, he's a young guy. Clayton went over and said, "I got to be able to trust you. This is what you need to do. You need to do it next time." I think that shows a pretty pretty strong resolve for a guy that knows that, that was a pretty bad play. You know, and I think that's pretty, pretty strong leadership there. Obviously, we'd like the execution to be better. We'd like the outcome to be better. But um, we got we got enough we got we got enough uh, enough to work on uh, besides just that play. How tough was the um, targeting call on the Well, yeah. I mean, we work hard to teach the guys about the strike zone. The strike zone's the letters to the knees, and, and obviously that was out of the strike zone. So we've got to coach better there. You know, that that's that's the right rule in our game. I believe in that rule. Um, you know, obviously, if we get the strike zone a little bit lower, we get a big interception in the red zone. It really changes momentum. So we guess have to do a better job coaching there. What about just having another body out? Yeah, no excuses, no explanations. No excuses. We got, guys got to step up. That's, that's what you have to do. No excuses. We got to coach better. We got to, we got to play better. We got to execute better. Justin Olmo finished with seven carries. Yeah. Obviously, just one in the second half. Yep. How can you keep him more involved? Yeah. How can you be better and get you know, more room to work? With? Yeah, well, today was going to be a little bit of a lighter load regardless. Came in a little banged up. You got a little banged up yes, uh, last week. Sorry, I didn't tell you that. But uh, So we got, we got him through the game. and, and um, But I'm not sure it has as much to do with Justin as it, as it do with us winning one-on-ones up front. So that's what I'll look at. And we get on the plane, get it fixed, and create a solution. A lot of ball left to be played. A lot of ball. You know, we've put ourselves in tough situations now back-to-back weeks, right, going in the locker room down at half. You, you're rolling a dice when you do that. And, uh, you know, obviously we rolled the wrong number in the second half. But I've got to give great credit to Coach Cut and, and Duke. They, they wanted it more. Like I said, they out-coached us and out-executed it, out-hit us. The, the similarities there from last game to this game, I mean, would you say there's similarities in the reasons of getting behind? Um, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I think from a standpoint of our inability to get the run game going, um, we were a little bit better on third down last week than when obviously we were this week. You know, third down is a critically important down. Um, and to go, like I said, one of 10, and they went 15 to 22. That, that, there's your story right there. You know, so we've got to look at both sides. Uh, but again, I, I've got to give all the credit to Duke. They played outstanding football. And uh, we obviously, starting with me, didn't get to, the guys ready to come down here to execute.
Well, um, I guess two separate answers. Um, you know, really proud of Kyle for stepping up, and, and he's, you know, that's what we got to do. We got to find a way to get our best 11 guys on the field right now with where we're at. And I, I don't remember Kyle really be, being any issues in the game. I mean, I thought he played really, really well. Uh, I feel bad for Trey from a standpoint of that one route that he kind of sat on a little bit and, and got tripped up. Um, this was his first week of really getting some reps. We really didn't want to play him. Our, our goal as a coaching staff th this week was to get him um, as many reps as we could in practice and hopefully get him ready for next week. Um, and, and to see the way that he stepped up, um, again, wasn't, wasn't perfect, but I'm really, really proud of that young man. He's worked so hard and so diligently with you know, our athletic training staff and our doctors to get himself and our strength coaches to get back on the field. I mean, he's five weeks ahead of schedule. You know, really proud of that young man. So he'll be better next week, without a doubt. Uh, what are your thoughts on the pass rush today? And how can you guys generate more pressure when it's tough to get more numbers there when you're a little banged up from the secondary? Well, a lot of RPOs, you know, a lot of run pass options. And, and um, uh, we were pretty good on him early, and then we kind of backed off a little bit, I think, for maybe some confidence that you know guys may be being out there for the first time. Um, and then when we got a little bit aggressive, it, it seemed like it worked out a little bit more. So came down here with a plan to be on the attack, uh, to be as aggressive as we could. And you know, I think, again, our inability on third down offensively to sustain anything from a standpoint of momentum. Uh, and then the turnovers uh, you know, really, really hurt you. We had, we had the ball on the ground two other times that we didn't get from them, um, which, which could have been key, too. Who are you looking for up front to help the younger guys? You've got two, you know, two freshmen and a red, even redshirt freshman playing on the edge. Yeah. Well, I think it's on us as coaches first and foremost. I think we've got to coach that group to be more, more uh, consistent. Uh, fundamentally, we've got to execute obviously better. Um, and uh, you know, youth, youth is just an age. You know, so that's not an excuse and not an explanation for guys not being able to execute. If they can't get it done, then we've got to put somebody else in the game to get it done. That's on us as coaches. So. We'll take a look and see kind of where we're at and um, you know, take a hard look in the mirror first and foremost with us and then create solutions so the guys can go out and be consistent and successful. Yeah, well, we, yeah, we were a little banged up and so we had some guys playing out of, um, out of position. Uh, and I was trying to communicate, that that's my fault. I was trying to communicate to Nate Fox to widen out. He thought, he, he heard me say, get out. So probably could have protected them with a timeout, but um, it's okay. It's good. Sometimes when you're getting your fanny whipped every once in a while, you need, you need to learn some really tough lessons. Uh, and that's one of those where I probably could have saved them with a timeout. Uh, but that is what it is. It's my fault, not his. Last year you guys were 0-2 at this point, and you mentioned you kind of changed how you were going to schedule practices, how you were going to not schedule, but how you are going to run practices, kind of getting more back to the basics. Is there anything that you can think of that you're going to try to change practice-wise going forward? I don't know if we have a practice problem right now. You know, I, th I think they really worked hard last week. I didn't, I didn't see a, a let up or a let down. I actually thought we executed much better. I mean, if you would have asked me on Thursday if I thought we would execute this way offensively, I would have said no way. So that's why I got to obviously give great credit to Duke. You know, I thought that they, they had a really good plan. Um, you know, we've got to self-scout ourselves. Uh, and make sure we're giving our guys the best answers and solutions. And then, um, you know, of course, I'm going to make changes because when you, when you perform as we have in the first half and been outscored now by 21 points going in at halftime in two games, you can't put yourself in that situation and be consistent. So I'll take a look at a bunch of things from that standpoint. But again, I, I can't look at practice last week and say, wow, I, I expected us to give up 41, only get 17, be one of 10 on third down, turn the ball. I'm, you know, that's, that's probably what's most disappointing is our, our inability to get our guys as coaches to consistently execute today. You guys seem to have a little bit of momentum there. End of the first half, you yep. got that touchdown. Oh, yeah. And you're able to get the uh, sack fumble, yep. the punt, yep. and then the interception. Yep. Did you feel like that took something out of your sails a little bit, or could you sense that at all? No, you know, I think, do we have a couple of third down situations there defensively, I think, to get off the field in that drive, and we didn't. And I think that was one of their longer drives, maybe 10 plus plays. You know, and obviously, again, I, I got to give all the credit in the world to Duke. They, they, they were the ones that executed. They were the ones that were coached well and, and, and out, uh, out physical to so. Um, I think that was obviously a, an opportunity to seize momentum, right? Um, we, we got the big stop, and, and now here we go with a chance to um, get momentum really back on our side, and we obviously weren't able to do that. So credit, Duke. Early in the season, um, what was your message or what will be your message to the players? 
Well, like I just told them in the locker room, we got out coached, uh, we got out executed, and uh, we got out played. So all those things we can control. We can coach better, we can execute cleaner, and uh, you know, obviously, we can have guys step up and make plays. So uh, that's what you do. I mean, there's a lot of football left, and uh, but we've got to get much better, obviously, if we want to expect to win, especially next week against a PG team that. You know, in my snapshot from them last year studying them, I was really impressed how they got better each week. And I thought they played really well against Michigan State in the opener. So we're going to have our hands full next week at home. It'll be, it'll be great to get the freshmen in the building. It'll be fun. Bennett had a big game last week, and then he was really limited today. Did you notice you keying on him at all? And if so, how can you kind of overcome yeah, that? I, yeah, I don't think they keyed on him. I think they played man free. There was no keying, there was no doubles. I think they lined up in an under front and played man free, and we lost a lot of one on ones. It doesn't ask you a question about Bennett, uh, but that's what it looked like from my vantage point. Uh, and then, um, you know, we, we obviously didn't throw. I mean, we're 11 for 29 for 120. You know, we're not executing clean enough, um, you know, with, without a doubt. You know, but Hunter was great. Yeah. Right. I mean, there's, that was, that was, that was outstanding. Yeah, and then in the long return, we give up, we have, what, five or six missed tackles? And that's probably the other disappointing thing to me about our defense. I mean, our guys are really, I thought they were giving good effort, but we overran the ball, our angles, our open field tackling. Today was as bad as I've seen. I think it's a byproduct, again, of Duke's young men making really good moves. Uh, and then I was pressing a little bit to try to make plays when we were down a couple scores. So, got to get back to basics there fundamentally and tackling the open field better. Again, that's a you know, practice question. You know, first 12 minutes of every defensive practice, we tackle. So uh, we've just got to get the guys to execute cleaner. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you, guys. Travel home safe. Thanks a lot. Go Cats. Yeah, thanks.